Welcome to today's tutorial on education management and monitoring system. Today, we will learn how to transfer and promote employees with the EMIA system. To begin, enter the URL of the EMIA website, that is, emias.sikkimedutech.in, and hit enter to search. Once the website loads, click on Login and enter your credentials to access the dashboard of your account. I'm logged in for Test Call Sikkim. First, look to your left to find a number of menus, with each one of them serving a specific function. You may recognize some of these if you've watched some of the earlier tutorials, locate employee management and expand the tree to access list and registration. On clicking on the option, you'll find the section of records. There are filters that help to narrow down search results by incorporating parameters. In order to initiate or transfer a promotion of an employee, you need to first search for the particular employee. You can use the filters for this specific purpose. Only verified employees can be transferred or promoted. Once you've narrowed down the search, click on View and you'll access the employee's information detail. Right above here, there is an option that says Actions. Click on it to expand the options and select Transfer, a promotion. Now, you can enter the details, Operation Transaction. I'm first going with Transfer, the order number and order date. Additional details which include Relieving Date. Relieving Date denotes the last working day at the present school. Save to continue. A confirmation page displays the details that you have just entered. You can verify them before confirming submission. A success message confirms the submission. If you look at the list of menus on your left, you'll find that you're now on the service transactions under employee management. On the service transactions section, you'll find a list of the transactions records. The transfer application that we just submitted is right at the top here with the minimal details describing the application. Next to that, there is an option to take an action. This move is reserved solely for the school admin. The school admin can remove or cancel the submission before it is accepted by the other party. A mini window asks to confirm, and on confirming, the transfer is cancelled. A success message confirms the cancellation. Similar process to the transferring action is the promotion transaction. Click on promotion, and you'll find a different set of options to the earlier operation of transferring employees. There is the new designation and new sub-designation. Fill in the fields and confirm the submission once saving the details. Additionally, if you were to choose instead Transfer plus Promotion, you'll find that the additional options generated includes both of the options from the Transfer and Promotion action that we took earlier. Fill in the details as you would for either of them and submit to confirm. This way, the employees can be transferred and promoted with the EMIA system. On initiating a transfer of an employee, the transaction is processed by School A and sent over to School B. School B needs to confirm and accept the employee to complete the transaction. However, both the place of postings need to be within the framework of the EMIS, which means that both the schools need to carry out this operation 
using the EMIS platform. So they both need to be registered with EMIS. This is only applicable for transfers. It is not applicable for promotions as they take place within the same school, unless the promotion is packaged with a transfer to a different school. If you have any additional queries, please leave them on the comments section below. Hoping you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much.